I'm building G. Oh, oh you don't want to do it that way? Andy's actually going to explain the entire setup and why we're fishing certain pieces of cover. Um, he's going to start with the entire rig that we're using here. Hey guys, this is not a complicated deal. Um, number two hook, eighth ounce split shot. I like these little fill corks, not very big. I don't know what the size is. Or, and then a bobber stop. That's it. Bobber stop, cork, split shot, number two hook. The water's really deep, so we're setting them close to three feet deep. Give or, we've actually been catching the bigger ones set about two feet deep, set more shallow. So uh, the deeper you have it, the more hung up you'll get because the more bushes you got to go through. But anyway, what we're doing is a lot of people are intimidated by these bushes, and it's not that complicated. I'll show you how we, we rig the minnows, how we hook them. Thank you, minnow. Here's their lip. So they hang, they go in and out of the bushes easier that way. Try to find the biggest, thickest bushes you can. And you want to get in the middle of them. They spawn on the trunks. So you just drop straight in. Right down. You don't have to leave it there long. If the minnow does nothing and doesn't doesn't move, it means there's probably not a fish there. If your minnow starts doing what it's doing right there, oh, just it, it means there's probably a fish there because the minnow's getting spooked. So you just go straight in and straight out, and uh, you can't flip. You can't flip it over. A, a bush or anything like that just easy in easy out it's a pretty simple deal a lot of people get frustrated that one's dead a lot of people get frustrated doing this and don't like it I love it because it's something different not every lake has this and it's only a few weeks a year so you know you can turn the electronics off and you can watch that cork go under you know brings out the kid and all of us everybody likes watching a cork go under so you just find the bushes find the gnarly stuff drop close to the trunk of it and just wait for it to go under like that and hopefully you catch one bigger than that but you get the idea and then left hand click them. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Day number two here on Wren Lake. Gonna go out and uh, try to find some more spawning crappie. If you're not out right now, this is definitely the time to be out. This is definitely the time to be out. Especially if you're a shore fisherman. I'm gonna actually do a shore fishing video or somewhat shore fishing video here pretty soon. Let's get on the boat with Andy and get back on some of these spawning crappie from yesterday. Yeah, you definitely need to make more noise. Well, here we are. We're in the flooded forest, anchored up with our, I'll show you the power pole we're using right here, real quick. Right, right there. Here's our awesome little power pole. Super, super expensive, right? It was like $5,000. Six. Six thousand dollars, so. Yeah. We're gonna see if there's some big crappie in this flooded timber. There's a lot of people out spider rigging deep water and we don't know why. They're shallow. Don't tell anybody though. All right, let's get to fishing. All right, Andy. So just walk people through what, what we're actually fishing, why we're fishing certain sections of brush versus others. Like, what do you look for? Um. Well, on Wren Lake, there's about 19,000 acres of buck brush, and it's not all good. And uh, we're kind of early in the spawn because we've had a cold winter. So you want to start on the upper end of like shallower, muddier water. It warms up first, like two weeks ahead of the, the, the lower end of the lake. And uh, I love big isolated bushes because you, you know there's going to be fish in there and you know that's where they are. You don't have to fish a hundred yard stretch. Uh, 
they're in those 100 yard stretches, but it takes a long time to dissect them. So, and I also, you know, been fishing for a long time. So I know which bushes are good, but if you come to a new place, you know, we're in like points, isolated bushes, things like that. And the reason I like fishing this buck brush is because it's totally unique to Rin Lake. Not not 100%. Other lakes have buck brush. They don't have as much. And a lot of these lakes will draw down the water this time of year, and the water won't be in the bushes. We have a natural spillway, so when the water's up, it stays up for weeks. So there's not very many lakes you can go do this. And it's totally different. You can spider rig the other 11 months of the year. You know, you can fish brush piles any anytime. You can stare at your electronics. I like to fish this, turn my electronics off, and just watch a cork and a minnow. You know, it's like being a kid again. Everybody likes watching that cork go under. It's just different. It's something to break up the monotony and, and do something different for a few weeks. And uh, you try to get in the middle, see where those trunks of that buck brush come together. They spawn on those big trunks. You want to get, you don't want to be on the outside of the bush. You want to drop straight down in the middle of those bushes. And it, it, it looks horrible. It looks like you're going to get hung up every time. And you get hung up a lot, but you don't get hung up as much as you think. So you just sit there and drop it around the main trunk of those bushes. Get into the hardest, nastiest spots you can. And that's generally where the big ones will be, where no one else. Because nine out of ten people come along and fish real fast. They'll fish the outside and they'll keep going. So that's why I like fishing the buck rush so much, because it's it's just something totally different. There he is. They're in the shadows. Come up here. What's music again? Oh. Okay, that's that is the giant we want. Catching giants today. That's right. I'm back with Matt. Three pound fishing right here. What We're up? Lake. We're on Lake Egypt. This morning with Andy uh, on Ren Lake was eh, kind of a bust. We got bluebird skies right now. Huge cold front came through. Perfect day to be crappie fishing. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> well, it's nice Good. to be out on the lake yeah, anyway. Great day to be out on the water. Can't beat that. What do we got going on here? I don't know. We got a little tangled mess. That's fun. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, going by some docks, and I've got the—he's got the Garmin live scope hooked up. I actually just hooked it up on my boat, but I'm gonna show a few things there and hopefully see some fish and catch them on screen. That's the plan, anyway. So, all right, let's go. Yes. There you go. <laughs> now it's recording. Hey, there's the first fish on Lake of Egypt. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. We suck at this whole YouTube thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be numbers or something. I've had a GoPro forever, right? Something's supposed to be moving. There he is. Is that bluegill? Yeah. Dang it. This guy here is a good friend of mine. Unless they brought his, I know it's his brother. Hey. Hey, can you guys help me out? Sure. This is gonna be a repeat of Ren Lake last time. <laughs> Are you just leaving it? Yeah. Just being lazy. That's a nice black crappie. Uh, I'll get it later. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Good fish right there, folks. Didn't get anything. I don't know, Andy didn't want to go back to the pocket that we caught him at last night, so. There he is. And that's a good crappie, yes.
about time. Crappie, no whoops, <laughs> oh, sorry, Matt. Sorry, Matt. Crappie number one for the day, for me anyway. Matt's got two, right? Two and a half. Two and a half. There he is. Jeez. Is that a... I don't think he is. I think he had me wrapped up. Man, this thing is fighting though. And it's a good, good crappie. I think it's a black. It's a male. Pretty black. No, well, maybe not. Just swapping crappie, putting a hammer down. Female. That's a good crappie. <laughs> That's a good crappie. Thought it was a bass at first way it hit. That's a good male. Or is that the female? That's, oh, it is a female. that's a yeah. pretty big belly. Number two for me. Number two. There's crappie number two for me right there. I'm gonna walk through the setup we're doing. It's a very simple setup. Just a slip bobber. It's a little yeah. It's a slip bobber weight minnow. Real simple for this guy in the live well. All right, we're just starting. It's just a little rubber bobber stop. Got a bead, little cigar float. What is this, a 1 16th ounce split shot? And a, what is this, a number two? Uh, number four. Number four Aberdeen hook. Super simple setup, and we're just casting into shallow weeds right now. These crappie are starting to stage up into the spawning area, and water temps are 65. Getting ready to get it done. So. Great day. Within the next week, they'll probably be full on spawn mode on Egypt here. So, do you have any spots open up on your guiding trip or no? Don't forget, guided trips 2019. We can do that brush pile, single pole, bam, but hit the thump. I'm telling you, right after gonna, the spawn, the thump is unbelievable. No minnows required. I mean, they will attack it. I'm gonna leave a, a link. I'm gonna leave a link to his guide service down below. You can check that out. <laughs> That's a giant fish. That could be a, that could be a two pounder. <laughs> Crappie, baby. That is a hog. Yes, it is. You got a, you got a measurement? I, yeah. I want to see how long that is. Yeah. You want me to grab that? That's yeah, all right. It's 14. 14. Yeah. yeah, I can't. Hold on. 1.52 or something? 1.52. Yeah. That's just too big of a fish to be 1.25. 1. 1. It's 1.52. Gosh, that's just such a bigger fish. Oh. That is going to wrap it up for today. Appreciate it again, Matt. Uh, I'm gonna link his, oh, I got some on the lens. I'm gonna link uh, his guide service and all his YouTube channel stuff down below. He does have opening dates here coming up for guiding stuff and Lake of Egypt. As you saw, I got some fish in the live well as well today, but we caught some pretty good fish. Spawning is on on Lake of Egypt, so. Appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Click that bell and uh, go follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I post pretty much live updates there. A lot of times my YouTube channel, it takes a while to edit a video. So if you want live updates, Instagram and Facebook, that's where to go. Plus there's a cool little snippets that I don't always show on YouTube. So appreciate you watching as always. We'll see ya.